friends, and welcome to Family Storytime. My name is Allison, and I am an early literacy specialist here at the Tampa Hillsboro Public Library. Family Time is our all ages storytime program, and this week we are going to be talking all about what it means to be thankful. Yeah, thankful is that feeling when we say thank you for uh, really anything. We're going to read three stories today all about being thankful. We're going to sing some songs in between as well. Uh, but let's get started the way that we always do. We are going to first start with our hello song. Now, we aren't going to just sing hello, we are going to use some sign language together also. Now, the way that we say hello in American Sign Language is with a salute. You can bring either hand up to your forehead. We're going to extend it out and say the word hello. Hello. Good job, friends. Now, the second word that we're going to use in sign today is the word friends. For friends, we'll take two fingers. We are going to hook those fingers together almost like they're having a hug. That is the sign for friends. Now, our song sounds like the farmer in the dell. We are going to first clap and sing hello. The second time we sing it through, we're going to wave our hands and sing hello. The third time, we're going to stomp our feet and sing hello. Uh, but you can follow with me. Feel free to sing and move along with me. Here we go, friends. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Now we wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. Now we stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Good job. You did beautifully. Thank you so much for singing and moving along with me. Now, we always like to tell you about a resource that is local for families here in Hillsborough County. Uh, have you heard of Help Me Grow? Hillsboro. This great organization can help provide uh, caregivers with free developmental screenings. They've also got tons of great information about childhood development. Uh, your little one is changing all the time. And if you would like to learn about the ways that they're changing and growing, uh, you can check out ecctampabay.org slash help me grow. Uh, and they can set you up with lots of awesome resources and you can learn uh, so much as well. Now, friends, every week here at Storytime, we learn a special word of the day. Since this week is all about gratitude and feeling thankful, we are going to learn how to say thank you in both sign and Spanish. Now, to say the word thank you in sign language, we are going to bring our hand up near our chin. And then we're going to extend it out. Almost looks like you're blowing a kiss. Thank you. Yeah, it looks just like that. Thank you. Can you try it with me? Thank you. Good job, friends. Now, to say the word thank you in Spanish, we would say gracias. Gracias means thank you in Spanish. Can you try it with me? Gracias. Gracias. Muy bien, friends. Thank you so much for trying both our sign and our Spanish word of the day. Now, that means that it is time to read our very first book, and I have great news. Uh, we are going to be reading today. Thank you, Amu. This book was written and illustrated by Ogamora and was published by Little Brown Books for Young Readers in 2018. Uh, let's check it out. Here we go, friends. Thank you, Amu by Ogamora. Note to the reader. Amu is the ego term for queen. On the corner of First Street and Long Street at the very top floor, 
Amu was cooking a thick red stew in a big pot for a nice evening meal. She seasoned and stirred it and took a small taste. <gasps> what a delicious stew, Amu said. Tonight's dinner will surely be the best I have ever had. Yum, yum. With that, Amu put down her spoon and went to read a book before supper. As the thick red stew simmered on the stove, its scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall, toward the street, around the block, until... Knock, knock, knock! Somebody was at the door. When Amu opened it, she saw... A little boy! Little boy, Amu exclaimed, what brings you to my home? He says, I was playing with my race car down the hall when I smelled the most delicious smell. What is it? Thick red stew. Mmm, stew, he sighed. That sure sounds yummy. Um, Amu thought for a moment. She was saving her stew for dinner. But she had made quite a lot. It would not hurt to share. Would you like some? The little boy nodded. And so Amu spooned some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her once for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Amu, the little boy said and went on his way. With that, Amu closed the door and went back to her book. As she read, her thick red stew scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall, toward the street, around the block, until, knock, 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 somebody was at the door. When Amu opened the door, this time she saw a police officer. Ms. Police Officer, Amu exclaimed, what brings you to my home? I was on duty down the street when I smelled the most delicious smell, Miss Police Officer replied. What is it? Thick red stew. Ah, stew, she said, and her mouth watered. That sounds mighty tasty. Amu thought for a moment. There was still enough to share. Would you like some? The police officer nodded. Once again, Amu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Amu, the officer said and went on her way. And so for the second time, Amu closed the door and went back to her book. Sure enough, as she read that thick red stew, scrumptious scent wafted out the window, out the door, down the hall, toward the street, and around the block until, knock, 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 again, someone was at Amu's door. This time when she opened it, she saw a hot dog vendor. Mr. Hot Dog Vendor, Amu exclaimed, what brings you to my home? I was selling my hot dogs down the block when I smelled the most delicious smell, he replied. What is it? Thick red stew. Oh, stew, the vendor licked his lips. That sounds quite delectable. Mm -mm. So Amu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Amu, said the hot dog vendor, and he went on his way. Throughout the day, people from all across the neighborhood knocked on Amu's door. She fed a shop owner, a cab driver, a doctor, an actor, a lawyer, a dancer, a baker, an artist, a singer, an athlete, a bus driver, a construction worker. Even the mayor stopped by. And each time they knocked, Amu shared. She is so generous. Soon the sky darkened and the street lights brightened and it was finally time for dinner. But when Amu opened her big fat pot of thick red stew for her nice evening meal, it was empty. Oh no. Amu sniffled. There goes the best dinner I ever had. Sorry and blue, she sat at the table with her empty pot until Knock, 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 knock. <gasps> what could that be? Amu wondered when she opened the door. She saw the little boy 
the police officer, the hot dog vendor, the shop owner, the cab driver, the doctor, the actor, the lawyer, the dancer, the baker. <sighs> Why, everyone she fed today was at her door. I'm sorry, everyone, Amu sighed. My thick red stew is all gone. I have nothing left to share. The little boy tugged on Amu's sleeve. Don't worry, Amu, we're not here to ask. We are here to give. The police carried police officer carried in a fresh salad. The mayor came with a roast chicken. The baker brought a collection of sweet goodies. Even the little boy presented Amu with something special in a shiny red envelope. Everyone who had knocked on Amu's door that day had squeezed inside of her tiny apartment and together they ate, danced, and celebrated. While Amu's big fat pot of thick red stew was empty, her heart was full of happiness and love. The dinner was the best she had ever had. And that card there says, thank you, Amu. That, my friends, is the end of our very first book. What a beautiful story that is. I love that one. Now, friends, we are going to sing a story time classic. We're going to sing If You're Thankful and You Know It, uh, set to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. We're going to say thank you. We're going to shout hooray. And, uh, and then we'll do the sign for thank you at the end. I'm sorry. We'll start with a clap. <laughs> Feel free to follow with me. It goes just like this. Here we go. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. Now, if you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're thankful and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're thankful and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're thankful and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're thankful and you know it, and you really ought to show it, if you're thankful and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Now, if you're thankful and you know it, shout thank you. Thank you. If you're thankful and you know it, shout thank you. Thank you. If you're thankful and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're thankful and you know it, say thank you. Thank you. Great job, everybody. Now, with that, friends, we are going to next talk all about our letter of the day. Now, our special letter this week is the letter G. That's right. G uh, starts one of my favorite fruits here. Now, do you see a fruit on the screen? Grapes. That's right. Grapes are so tasty. Now, what color are these grapes, friends? These grapes are green grapes. Now, green and the word grapes both start with that letter G. G, G green grapes. Now this animal starts with G. What do we have here? Bah! It's a goat. That's right. Goat starts with the letter G as well. And then last but not least, a beautiful musical instrument. We can strum on our guitar. That's right. Guitar starts with G as well. Now we are going to sing a little uh, action rhyme next. We're going to move together. Let's get our wiggles out before we read our second story. Are you ready? Me too. All right, friends, here we go. Let's start with our fingers. Can you wiggle your, your fingers? I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders. And I wiggle my nose. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Now, no more wiggles are left in me. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. 
I listen to a story that we read. That's right, we're gonna read together. And our next book is a really great one. I hope that you love it. Our second story today is called We Can Be Thankful. Now, We Can Be Thankful was written, or excuse me, was illustrated by Katya Longhi and published by Clever Publishing in 2022. Let's check out our story together. Here we go, friends. We are thankful, or we can be thankful, illustrated by Katya Longhi. When someone takes turns, we can be thankful. Thank you for letting me try this big wall. Yeah, our friends are sharing at the park. When someone helps out, we can be thankful. Thank you for making me feel not so small. Yeah, our friends have included each other. They're playing together, and that is definitely something to be thankful for. When someone shares, we can be thankful. Thank you for sharing your sandwich with me. Oh, that is very nice. Looks like they're having a picnic out in the park. Yum, yum, and sharing together. Now, when someone cares, we can be thankful. Our, it looks like our friend fell down and got a boo-boo, but it looks like this nice grown-up is helping him. Thank you for fixing the scrape on my knee. When someone listens, we can be thankful. Yeah, our friend says, please help. And the other kids help him feel brave to climb up onto the, the play set. Thank you for making things seem not so bad. That's a great friend. When someone is kind, we can be thankful. Thank you for cheering me up when I'm sad. When someone makes us feel special, we can be thankful. Thank you for showing what friendship should be. When someone plans a surprise, we can be thankful. It looks like they're celebrating a birthday. Thank you for spending this fun day with me. And when someone says something nice, we can be thankful. Thank you for telling me that you like my bear. When we say thank you, it shows that we care. So spread joy and love in this world that we share. We can be thankful. And that, my friends, is the end of our second story. You did amazing at listening. Thank you so much for uh, listening with me. Uh, now, we are going to do another rhyme before we read our third third book of the day. Now for this rhyme, we're going to need that sign that we learned today to say thank you. So can you remember thank you? Thank you. Good job. Now the other sign that we're going to need for this song is the word please. Now to do the sign for please, we're going to hold a flat palm in front of our chest and then we're going to make a circle. That's please in sign please. Now this rhyme sounds like Frere Jaca, so we're going to repeat ourselves a little bit, but we'll sing please and thank you. Here we go. Please and thank you, please and thank you. Sounds so nice, sounds so nice. Manners are important, manners are important. Be polite, be polite, yay. Well done, friends. Thank you for singing and signing with me. Now, our third and final book of the day is called Good Morning World, I Love You So. Now, this book was written and illustrated by Olivia Herrick and was published by Familius in 2022. Uh, let's check it out today. Here we go. Good morning, world. I love you so. A Little Book of Gratitude by Olivia Herrick. Good morning, world. I love you so. And I'm very glad to say hello. You protect us all each day and night. So I wanted to take a minute and say, I love you, sunshine. I love you, moon. 
I love you cereal with an extra big spoon. I love you neighbors waving hi. I love you doggy walking by. I love you wind. I love you trees. I love you honey made by bees. Bzzz. I love you food I get to eat. I love you friends I get to meet. I love you quiet open spaces. I love you old familiar faces. I love you world. I really do. And I promise I'll take good care of you. Every morning I will stop to say how thankful I am for today. I love you world. I really do. Thank you for the way you love me too. And that, my friends, is the end of our third and final story. Now, uh, we are going to do a very important action rhyme next, friends. Uh, since this week, some of our friends around the world here in uh, America are going to be celebrating Thanksgiving, we are going to sing the turkey hokey pokey. Now, uh, for the turkey hokey pokey, we are going to use our wings instead of our hands so we're going to pretend that we've got two turkey wings can you flap your wings with me yeah that's right we're going to put our our right wing in and our left right wing out then we'll do our left wing then we're going to do the whole turkey we'll jump in together but you can move with me here we go friends you put your right wing in you put your right wing out you put your right wing in and you shake it all about you do the turkey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left wing in, you put your left wing out. You put your left wing in and you shake it all about. You do the turkey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Now let's jump with our whole self. You put your whole turkey in, you put your whole turkey out, you put your whole turkey in and you shake it all about. You do the turkey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Yay! Well done, my friends. You did awesome. And thank you for moving and playing along. Now, every week we talk a little bit about every child ready to read. We know that these five skills are so important for us to practice together with our little ones to read, write, talk, sing, and play together. Uh, we're going to sing our little song using our five fingers. Here we go. Read, write, talk, sing, play. Read, write, talk, sing, play. Read, write, talk, sing, play. Growing readers day by day. Yay! Now, uh, this week's highlighted skill of the week is talking. Talk about the books you read together at home. And I don't mean talk about the words that are in the book. No, point out colors. You can point out shapes that you can see in that book. Maybe there are some animals in the story. What animals do you see? And what are those animals like? Uh, talk about feelings that the characters are experiencing in the book as well. She is feeling thankful because she got to visit with her family. She's feeling happy. She's feeling excited. Uh, we can talk about uh, things that we can see, but we can also talk about the things that we feel. It's a great way to practice uh, talking and learning together as you go about your everyday life. Now, friends, uh, friendly reminder, you can always download and print out our activity packets as, as part of this presentation. Uh, check out the link below for that information. Now, we do have one last song to sing, our goodbye song is the more we get together. We are gonna practice the four words that we need in sign language to sing it and sign it. Now, the first word we'll use in sign is the word more. We're gonna tap our fingertips together. Can you try that with me? More, good job. Now for the word together, we're gonna make our two hands into fists. They go back to back and then we'll make a circle in front of us together. 
Whoops, just like that together. Now for the word happy, we're gonna wave our hands in front of our chest. That's right, happy looks like this. And then the last sign we need today, friends, where we'll hug our fingers together. Uh, but feel free to join me. I would love to hear you sing with your voice or sign with your hands, but let's go together. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Now with that friends, first things first, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you enjoyed family story time and I hope to see you back here next week for another exciting program. In fact, if you come next week, we're gonna be reading all about music and dance. I am so excited for that and I can't wait to see you there. Have an awesome rest of your day and thanks for joining us here at Storytime. Bye friends.